Hey guys, I want to do a quick review on the Mabit fog lights. Um, my idea is to go ahead and do a quick install video, kind of an unboxing, um, and then show you what it looks like on my 2022 Bronco. I wanted to fill in the spots on the modular bumper, just fill in those voids on the left and the right. Um, but I wanted a light that had both the amber and the white, because I've got the auxiliary switches and I want to be able to flip them on white and then flip them on to yellow when I want. Um, this allows you to do both. You can actually do both lights at the same time if you want. Uh, so we'll jump into kind of how I installed these using the auxiliary switch option. Uh, but keep in mind, there is another wiring harness if you don't. I can tell they're made of a pretty strong steel. Um, they feel solid. It's a white and an amber inside of these. So I'm gonna be able to put white on one auxiliary and then I'm gonna run the amber on another. I've got six auxiliary now. Um, I've got one with my pod lights, my ditch lights, and I've got one for the amber, three lights in the grill. So this will give me two more, uh, and then I'll still have two left. So um, the welds look okay. The, the quality seems good. The powder coating looks good. I'm hoping these are stainless still. I've had some issues with um, a couple bolts that I bought from some different products, I'm not saying with Mavits, but different ones um, where they rusted, but there is two screws on each side so that you can have an adjustment for up and down, it looks like, to be able to get the, the height right. Let's take a look and see. So you've got the left and the right one. You've also got some zip ties for tying everything down. Um, you've got this harness here which is going to plug into all the individual, your lights on each one. And then you've got this, and this I may not need because I will be, I'll use part of this. Um, there is a remote, which I think is kind of cool. So you'll be able to turn them on and off with the remote if you decide you wanna use this little modular kit here. Um, I'm gonna wire mine directly into my auxiliary, so it'll be a little bit different. But um, there is a, a flash remote control here. You've got your two relays, uh, your positive and negative wires, uh, if you decide to run that way. So I'll break up what that looks like. Um, overall, not bad. I like the, the fact that these are you know, obviously waterproof. They're gonna plug in. Um, I think what we'll do next is I'll go ahead and show you how I ins will install them using the auxiliary. Um, they do say it promises 50,000 hours of uh, lamp light, so we'll see how that goes. All right, let's go ahead and start by laying out the wires. How we want to put this wired from the front of the vehicle. So again, we're going to run the lights down here, up through, and we want to run down the side of the vehicle, back here to the firewall where you've got your connectors uh, for your auxiliary switches. Again, I'm going to use auxiliary. Um, some of you may not have those, but there is a, a harness for that. All right, here's a quick layout, um, how it's going to go. So I've got the left, or I'm sorry, the right fog light, left fog light. Here's the adapter cable. This is going to simply plug in to this side, and then these four are going to run to the four connectors on each light. And again, over here, if we plug this one into there and run these four to these lights. So this cable will then run up and I'm gonna have to get some, probably some of the wires from that other adapter. Um, these won't be long enough to reach all the way up to the firewall. So I'll probably use either my own wiring um, or pull the wires from that kit. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this piece, put it back here. And I'm gonna take this cable the end that's going to go into the the right light and i'm going to feed it down i don't know if you can see down through there there's a little gap don't go on this side you got a fan over here but what i'm going to do is just feed it right behind and in between that space i'm going to feed that all the way down All right, so what I'm gonna end up doing is just zip tying this up here next to the battery. I did run the cable down through here so you can see it coming down. 
And then what I tried to do was channel it. I'll try to get under here and show you. I just channeled it down underneath. So you've got your skid plate here. I ran it behind the bumper. There's a little bit of a groove back there. I did not want it to interfere with these because these uh, open up, they open and close. So it's kind of running back here behind the bumper and then it comes out over here on this side. So if I pull this tight and I'm gonna zip tie it to probably back here um, on the part of the, the crash bars, just to hold it in place, um, but that should be good. You can't see it, it's not exposed too bad to the elements. Um, and I think for the most part, it'll hold up pretty nice. All right, so again, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna connect this adapter, make it a little bit easier after I get the lights installed. Um, and then I'm gonna pull it back and zip tie it to the frame. Right here, there's a couple holes. So I'll go ahead and just zip tie that together. Do the same thing on this side. And then what we're gonna do is take, if you've got your Bronco kit, it comes with the ratchet and the 10 millimeter socket that you need. So what I'll do is I'll come over to the battery and what I'm gonna simply do is loosen that and then we can take the black ground wire and connect it over here. And then we're gonna just tighten that back. Now, instead of using the harness that came with it, I had some 14 gauge wiring. Um, so I cut two pieces that I'm gonna run from back here where the switches are, um, the wiring for the switches up to these and in the kit you had some connectors so instead of using the normal butt connectors that I would I'm just going to use these you'll slide it in and then run each wire to desired switches and I'll show you which ones I chose here in a second uh, but again just connect your ground we're going to connect both of these wires we'll have two of these now you don't have to do this but I pretty much anything that I put in the engine um, I like to cover the wire with a little bit extra um, so what I'm going to do is slide this little sleeve over the, the wiring and run it back there. So I'm going to take these adapters, open up both sides, and slide this through. Push it as far as you can. And we're going to close that. Should be nice and snug. So we got those, got that harnessed. I'm gonna run these back down and around. Okay, what I like to do to make this a little bit easier uh, is add the male connectors. All of my wiring uh, that comes out for the auxiliary switches I usually just go ahead and put the female connectors on the end so I can plug and play a little bit easier because I do change things out pretty often. Um, so what I'm gonna do is for the fog lights is put one of these adapters on both of these so I can just plug them in. Um, you've Again, you've got yellow is what they're gonna be recommended and the green wire, which is your yellow is a 30 amp, your green wire is a 15 amp. Your other wires that come out of here are all 10 amp. So. What we'll do is um, go ahead and attach these and then plug them in. Okay, now just clean this up, probably run some tape around it and then we'll be good to go. white so I want for my auxiliary my first auxiliary to be the white lights and my second auxiliary switch to be the yellow so for that to happen what I'm gonna do is run for me the red wire I'm gonna run it to the yellow all yellow so you've got two in here you've got one that is a uh, yellow and orange and you've got one that should be all yellow that's the one that I'm gonna run the first this will be your first auxiliary switch it's a 30 amp and I'm gonna run the red wire from the kit 
So it was this one over here. I'm gonna run that one to this yellow. Um, you can change it up if you want. Just running a quick test to make sure my lighting is right. Grill lights are working on the switch. Ditch lights working. Uh, I did plug this in. So that is the yellow. I just plugged one of them in to make sure they're working. So there's your yellow. And then if you go in here, that was aux two. I'm gonna switch the labels on this. So now we're gonna check auxiliary one. And now we've got the white light. So everything looks wired up good. Now we're gonna remove four bolts. We've got one here, one here, one here, and one here. I typically like to use the ratchet first, um, and then you can use this to, to get the bolts out quicker if you need to. All right, easiest way I've found to do this is just feed it up through the bottom. And just come in straight through the back. And then just line up those holes. And you had a longer bolt. Make sure the longer bolt goes in on the side. Your shorter top three go in after that. Okay, and one of the last steps is we're just gonna connect all four of these um, and then tuck the wires back up here with some zip ties. I'm gonna point out one thing. Um, you've got these little rubber seals right here. What I would do is just make sure you push these back in. You use like a little screwdriver or something just to make sure that they're forming a good seal. You don't want moisture getting in there and hitting those wires. Um, as you can see there, it exposed. Uh, just pull right out, not a big deal. Just push those back in. So here are the amber lights, um, brighter than what you can tell on this video. Um, they're definitely kicking off a nice little view. So I'll do a video tonight. Okay. And here are the white lights. I'll be honest, they are a very bright. I mean, it's the middle of the day and they're casting out some pretty good light. So we'll see what they look like tonight. But, um, so far, pretty happy. Here are the white and the yellow together. All right, so here's a quick, just my normal headlights. Those are my high beams, normal headlights, the fog lights with the white light the fog light with the yellow light with high beams. Do this one more time. They're pretty bright. So that is how bright the white ones are. They look good. Yep, stand in front of them, bud. Yep, definitely adding some brightness. Here are the amber. Okay, here's no lights, with the fog lights, white and yellow and both regular lights white yellow and both all right here's driving the white ones and the yellow so come around this corner those back on. So pretty bright. Okay. Before and after. 
So here you can see some adjustments. Um, I lowered the lights pretty significantly. The whites are still pretty bright, they go high. I don't think you could drive with those. Um, but the yellow are low enough that it's not blinding oncoming traffic. Yeah, so to be honest, I've had these now in the car for a couple days. Um, I really like the lights. I mean, they're serving the purpose that I needed them for. Uh, I definitely like being able to see better at night, especially the long stretches of road. Uh, for the money, I don't think you can beat the, the brightness. The color's good, the yellow's nice. Uh, overall, I think definitely well worth it. Um, I can give an update um, sometime soon.